Hey guys, welcome to the long term review. Today I'm going to try this gluten free uh, gluten free burrito. This is the chicken and cheese. It's naturally an all natural ingredients, no hydrogenated oil, zero grams of trans fat. Keep it frozen. Um, it says it's hand rolled. Don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. Um, 200 calories for the whole burrito, um, 60 fat calories. And here's the other information for you if you can read it. Um, okay, so how do we do that? There's the ingredients if you want to see too. Um, Alright, we're going to discard the packaging. Uh, wrap it, the burrito, and it says in a paper towel, I'm going to use a piece of parchment paper because it tend to, I found it works better. One to one and a half minutes, uh, turn it over and then do it for another minute and a half. I'll probably do one, one fifteen, or I might do one and a half and then one. Uh, actually, I'll probably do that. And you can also do it in an oven if you want to. So, what does this look like? I'm assuming it's going to look like any traditional burrito. Yep. Looks like a burrito. So, I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be right back. Forgot to mention, I got these at Lucky's Market for $2.99. So, uh, it's a little high for a burrito, but uh, it is gluten free. Um, so, it looks pretty good. It's um, It looks a little different colors than what some do, but that's okay. Um, so it has some rice in there. So I'm going to cut this up into pieces and uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. So here's the bite I'm going to take. It's got um, plenty of chicken and rice and cheese in it. That would have a lot of filling. Let me get one that's a lot more filling. There's not a ton of filling in here either, one way or the other, but I'll try one with a little bit more. That was a little hot. Um, it's good. I'm missing. I'm I'm tasting a little bit of that um, Mexican seasoning, but the Mexican seasoning is is very light. There's there's no spice in this at all. So if you can't handle spicy food, you'd be fine with these. They're kind of bland. Um, I'm really not even getting a taste of the chicken or the. I'm, I'm tasting more rice than anything. It's not a bad texture or anything like that. You know, just gluten free. Sometimes some people think it's bad texture. It doesn't have a bad texture. It just doesn't have any flavor. And I know some spices. They can add those spice. They could add spices to it without being uh, gluten. Uh, adding gluten to it. So, um, just because it is so bland, it's not horrible. It's not bad in any way. And I know some people would probably love these, and you get them all the time. If you have to eat gluten free, might be a good alternative uh, burrito. But without having to eat gluten-free, which I don't, um, and they're so, so, so bland, I'm going to give this a two. I wouldn't recommend you get these unless you just absolutely have to get gluten-free burritos. Um, and there may be better alternatives out there. I don't know. But these, super, super bland. Um, no flavor, really, at all. Um, they need to spice it up a little bit. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.